Good day, class. Welcome to our subject, Civil Engineering Laws and um, Ethics, Contracts and Specification. Uh, today, we will be discussing the part 2 of our discussion on 1987 Constitution Article 1 and 2, particularly National Territory and uh, Declaration of Principal State Policies, Section 15. So, allow me to share my screen and let's begin. Sabi dito class, the state shall uh, protect and promote the right to health of the people and instill health consciousness among them. The state shall protect and promote the right to health of the people. Talks about the well-being. Okay, and instill health consciousness among them. Okay. Okay. Right to health. Meron kang karapatan. Ay meron kang may kapar may karapatan ka for good health and healthy well-being. And ano yung ano yung dapat pinapahalagahan yun ng state, okay? So this is the question. Let me ask you this question, guys. What if you are a person in authority and how will you conduct or how will you promote the right to health of the people and instill health consciousness among them? Again, let me re rephrase the question. If you are a person in authority, how will you protect and promote the right to health of the people and instill health consciousness among them? How will you answer? I will answer by just, uh, I will, by answering that I will provide Healthcare facilities, free checkups, medical checkups, whether uh, x ray, dental checkups, annual physical examinations, among others. Tama ba? But now, as I discuss this, no? as I discuss this, we want to unveil another strategy or another approach in studying the law. Okay? So how you should answer whenever I ask you questions in recitations, in quizzes, in examinations? How will you answer? So the question is, if you are a person in authority, how will you instill health consciousness among the people. Filipinos. Okay? So this is our approach. Okay? The answer should be like this. By conducting or doing this strategy called the ALAC method. Okay? It is, it is an acronym, acronym of okay? Okay, natin, ha? By giving an answer, a legal basis, or by citing the law. And by giving an analysis or an explanation, why did you come up with that answer? And finally, concluding your response. Okay. So the question, again, how will you instill health consciousness among the people? Let's try answering in a full context by applying the ALAC or the ALAC method. Okay? The answer, I will instill health consciousness, talagang buong buo, no? Health consciousness among the people. by conducting healthcare programs healthcare programs such as yung sinasabi natin kanina medical checkups free medical checkups free dental checkups uh 
pre-vaccination or COVID or walking pneumonia by inciting what's the legal basis. Because according to Article 2 of the 1987 Constitution, the state or we are mandated shall instill health consciousness among the people. And the explanation, ito medyo mahaba to, among Filipinos na lang. Ito, yung explanation, tutuli mo dito, analysis. Because By conducting such healthcare programs, people will be aware with their current health status. They will be aware of the common diseases of today's generation, such as dengue, um, ano pa ba? sexually transmitted diseases, um, walking pneumonia, updated COVID. No? And with those programs, they will be aware of those diseases. And finally, how will you conclude? And that, that's how I will conduct health consciousness among the people. Babalik ka lang sa answer. Okay, usually, pag kulang sa oras, pwede mo na sigurong i-skip yun. Pero, very madali lang din. Babalik pag ano, conclusion, balik ka lang sa answer mo. Diba? Ganun tayo mag-solve eh. Diba? Pag mga problem natin sa, sa mechanics, diba? Bumabalik ka pa sa What's the final uh, force? Diba? Babalik ka dun sa answer. So, sa, ano, babalik ka dun sa question. Yan. So, again, class, now we want to do this para kung palaging kompleto. Palaging kompleto. Again, LLL. We want to correct your language with the right logic and the right flow. Okay? When will be cases na magiging delikado yung sagot mo. Or mali, maling malina. Galing kay Sir Bogart. Mali ang, mali ang sagot mo sa tanong. Kapag, na ito na. Di ba? Hindi na nga natin discuss yung preamble eh. Ito ha, iwasan nyo lang to. I want you to get rid of the preamble. What do we mean by this? Ito yung mga quotations na binabanggit natin na I think. Di ba? On my experience, According to my readings, mali yan. Bakit? Kasi it might be true, it might be wrong. Di ba? So kapag ganyan yung binanggit natin, eh we are counterfeiting our legal basis. Walang basihan. Eh ito nga yung gusto natin maging basihan eh, yung law. Di ba? Kaya nga si ilos eh. So that's how we will answer. We want to avoid the preamble. Okay? Avoid natin to class, ha? Unless otherwise, I specifically ask, oh, what do you think about this? Diba? How do you understand this? Yan, pwede mo nang sabihin. I understand this by blah, 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 citing your experience, citing your examples. But in order for us to be responsive, always answer based on the law. And a quick strategy for that is the ALAC method. Okay? So, going back, you have to memorize this, no? Dali lang naman. Kasi ito class no kaya ako pinapakabisa sa, sa inyo kasi this is our right as people at the same time. Itong mga articles na to, I would say this is in um ito yung intersection ng ating discipline engineering to the practice of law, to the to the welfare of the people and the environment. Tingnan naman, di ba? Last uh, sa article 1, na-discuss na natin yung environment, yung territory natin. Dito, we're talking about the people. Okay? So, we will unravel, magpapakita pa tayo ng mga modules sa uh, as we go on. And sa mga, meron pa tayo mga ilan kakabisaduhin. No? And, ayun. So, be excited about it. This is just a short uh, module, guys. No? For the ALAC method. 
That will be it. And if you have any question, comment down this video or message me personally, my social media accounts. Thank you and God bless you all.